Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Family Dynamic Legacy Challenge. I hope that you enjoyed the first ever episode. I was kind of, how to say it, like anxious to start a brand new challenge. I'm really still feeling the same way. But here we are recording this second episode and I hope that you are going to enjoy the series as much as I'm going to do. But in this episode, we have quite some of things we want to do. The first thing first, I told you that I'm going to add her parents into the game. And I also have added a bunch of friends to her. And if you have seen my 12 day cast challenge, sorry, 12 days cast challenge, you're going to notice most of these sims. I picked three sims out of the 12 ones I would assume that I have done. So as part of the story of this generation is like she is the first one who's going to marry upon her all of her friends. But the thing is, I when I edited the first ever episode, I was like, wait, you didn't add friends to her. And how is this possible to make that? We have to make it realistic and make her friends so i made friends that they are living in san my shoe now like they all were living in willow creek and then everyone just moved into a different place and then she decided to come to tartosa to proceed her dream as a chef but then her friends they are like they want the party the fun life the you know night life so they decided the three of them to move to the city and there is singles and they're living together. So why not? It's so fun. So we're going to take a look on everyone here. But what we want to do in this episode is that we want to go on a date with Benjamin. And then we want to reach level two in our career, if that's possible. And then we want to start finding plants. I know it's as simple as like buying it from the inventory. But if we... If I just didn't find any plants over here and there or there, we're going to just get them from the, I mean, the building mood. And then we have to move Benjamin with us. Maybe it's like at the end of the episode and then we have to get pregnant because we know that this should happen. But we're not going to get married right now. Maybe in the next or in the fourth episode, we're going to see how things are going to go. Now she just got back from work and we didn't get any promotion. And then we're going to invite over Benjamin and we want to go on a date. And now Benjamin is here. And the first thing she's going to do. Oh my God. Is there something related between sunset and them kissing each other? Like what? He's in front of you. Why are you messaging him? Okay. Now she's telling him that, do you want to go on a date together to a new restaurant here in town together? We're going to have so much fun. And he's like, okay, yeah, for sure. We're going to go on a date together. Okay, so I have downloaded this, this restaurant from the gallery. I don't know who is the creator, but I appreciate your hard work and it looks so beautiful with the sunset. We want to go outside. Okay, so we're going to go and request a table outside and enjoy the breeze of Tertosa. We're going to go together. Greta, holy cow. Is this like the same as what happened to Daisy and Taylor? And that it's going to be disappeared. But this woman is calling. Us. She's like, I've called to inform you that your great, great, grand, second, once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away. And for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept that? Um, yeah, we're going to say money, money, give now because we need money. And then she's going to say very well. However, now that you have accepted, I must inform you that you will only get this money if you become married within seven days. These are the terms. Good luck and congratulations on the next chapter in your life. Okay, what is going on with our life? So suddenly the game wants us to get married together. Okay, and suddenly my father is talking into the toilet and my other father is here. And now she's like, oh my god, dad, what are you doing here in Tartosa? What are you like spaying here about like 
about me or looking for me or what is going on and she's like how are you by the way dad he's like i'm doing pretty well my my daughter dad where is daddy and he's like ah uh, he is waiting for me in the toilet now we're gonna say hi to our daddy here is daddy we're gonna say hi to dad hi dad how are you and she's like oh my god you are definitely spying on me or spying on me <laughs> she's like yeah she's anxiously laughing she's like yeah you're spying on me dad she's like okay i hope that you enjoy your day with your date my love okay so the first thing we want to drink something unfortunately i don't have any mods like that thing listen i don't know how to pronounce that but we're gonna get the lobster she's gonna get it and then let's see what our boyfriend wants so he wants steak so now we're having a deep conversation she's asking him like I know that we have been seeing each other like for the past weeks, but I really want to know why did you move to Tartosa, you and your family? And he's like, um, it's my dad's job that we moved here. I was so happy when I knew that you were here in Tartosa and I just couldn't like be happier because I knew that we're gonna meet again after all these years. I thought that we will never meet again. She's like telling him, I just suddenly felt that I love to cook and I love to bake out of like suddenly I just felt this way and then my dad they have encouraged me and they give me a little bit of money to move here and they were so awesome that they got like they gave me this opportunity to move here everything was so expensive it was hard to do that but at the end of the day we did it okay we're gonna continue and then she's gonna be like i one day want to have like family of six like i want to have four children they're both flirty and dad dad don't come oh my god why my dad are sitting next to us dad he's gonna blow him a kiss oh 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 did you see that oh my god did you see how he was melting now she's gonna go and ask him like what's your favorite recipe maybe i can cook that for you one day as you know because i love to cook and whatever now she's going and like she's discussing all the spices that they are in this like um there she's like do you know that there is this spice i can taste it my taste buds are really strong that i can taste every bit of the food but now we're gonna go and end meal and pay for it and we got the gold medal for our date which is super good so now we're back at home and we want him also to stay the night and now they are gonna go and have their private time together and then they're gonna go and head for sleeping and this is how their night is gonna end now we're gonna see you in the next morning how did we get that we're gonna sell them so we got money because we got promotion thing and now we're broke again because we got a christmas tree I had a bigger table and I just added some things here. We're gonna go and cook the Christmas grand breakfast for our family when they come. She's gonna invite her dad and Benjamin's father and mom. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. No, 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 no way. Okay, now so what we're gonna do exactly is she's gonna ask him to move in with her so now he's gonna go and talk to her and he's gonna ask her like should we just make it official and since it's like the christmas day that we move in together so now he is officially moved in with her and while she's cooking he's gonna go and decorate the tree and then now she's gonna go and take a shower meanwhile he's gonna go and invite his mom and dad game why are you always doing this to me why do i always have a walking mermaid and he's gonna be oh mom happy 
happy winter fest mom and she's gonna come and say hi to his mom and she's gonna be like hey carly happy winter fest where is my dad oh here's my dad it's been a while i know that yesterday you were like kind of coming to spy on me but just like Oh my god i'm so glad to see you here in my house and then benjamin is gonna be like oh, mom since her dad are waiting outside father and now what benjamin is gonna do he's gonna go and propose he's gonna be like because everyone is standing here look at everyone look at them he's like i want to give you the ring will you marry me fiona why will you be my lover forever and ever oh my god did i just sing a song that so now they are engaged we love that and then fiona's gonna go and tell everyone like hey it's let's go and grab a serving together i just made you a very delicious tortosian breakfast that you're gonna eat your fingers after that and i hope that i just put enough seeds yes i did and look at everyone here is eating together oh my god this is so great why my dad they don't want to come inside i'm gonna give them the key <gasps> we can do a we can do a pregnancy test should we go i want her first to use the toilet and then we're gonna go and take a pregnancy test oh <gasps> she's not pregnant what so now she's gonna go and talk with him like about the wedding she's like when do you want us to do the like the wedding do you want us like to do it here or you want like another town it's like no i want like us to have a tartosian wedding we want it to be as simple as possible we want it to be like only our parents and if you have friends and she's like um yeah i think we're gonna have like a very basic modern beautiful marriage and then we are gonna wait for santa to come to take our presents and he's like oh my god we're waiting for santa claus and she's like yeah exactly we want our gifts we want a great gift this year no santa why are you coming all the way upstairs to invade and he's coming to our bedroom what although because we want a gift from him we're gonna be respectful otherwise that wasn't respectful at all mr santa claus happy winter fest and then she's like give me my gift give me my gift give me my gift ben is gonna be like oh my god give me my game give me my game oh i mean give me my gift mr santa claus and he's gonna be like mr santa claus be ready to give us more gifts in the future because we're gonna have a lot of kids let's see what she got she got the nom sports soccer ball oh and he got a future cube oh this is pretty well and then santa claus i think it's time for you to go home or if you want to hang out for a little bit okay i just fixed the sittings and then i'm gonna go and see if they can get pregnant again otherwise i I think she got a little bit of an issue that we have to solve what's your career we want him to enroll in university okay maybe i think he suits being a writer so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go and apply for university and then we're gonna get and see what scholarship we can get so we're gonna let her work hard and we're gonna see if we're gonna get a promotion what his dad is calling him to tell him hey benjamin i think i have a crush on cam gold bloom gold bloom do you think it's worth a try what dad what i don't think it's a good idea dad okay so she is now back from work and i think yeah we got a promotion to a caterer fiona has been promoted to a caterer she will now make an additional 10 simoleon per hour and grant total of 26 simoleon per hour and then she has also received the following bonus 368 simoleon and stainless steel autobot which is great but now we have a problem she can't get pregnant and based on sims this is a very big problem so now what we're gonna do i got a mod that we can go and visit a doctor to evaluate fertility and pregnancy risks because i give her the 
fertility potion and it didn't work either so now both of them are gonna go and check their fertility what i'm truly sorry to announce that you have a very low fertility starting pregnancy will be oh my god but she doesn't have any problem but now we're gonna try and look for the fertility potion no way benjamin so he got the fertility potion we're gonna try once more we only got two days to get married are you serious why get why are you doing this to me why and i know that tomorrow if we came and played what's gonna happen is that like do we have to get married tomorrow like do I have to elope? What is going on in this world? Can I go and do a pregnancy test ASAP? Oh my god! Oh my god, finally! Oh my god! Oh my god! So now she's pregnant and I just moved it so fast that we didn't even got the chance to tell him like, Oh my god, that we are pregnant. Benjamin, I am pregnant! He's like, yay! and they're like finally happy okay so now what are we gonna do is that we're gonna end this episode over here okay so what we're gonna do tomorrow is that i don't want her to go to work because if we went to work we won't be able to be honest to get married so she's gonna take a day off and then we're i'm gonna go and look for a venue and i'm just gonna look for a simple minimalist one that is like the one that fits their budget and then it's going to be like a very simple one between her and her parents. Let's see what we have done during this episode. So what the first thing we did is that we went on a date and it was really good. And then we got like we celebrated Winterfest with Benjamin as he surprised us with moving in. And we celebrated Winterfest with our families and then we have also leveled up in our job we got a promotion and then the last thing is that we knew that we are infertile but they went and got a treatment and they're finally now pregnant do you let me know it if it, the baby is going to be a boy or a girl and then let me know if you are enjoying this series so far and we won't be able to start working on the successful lineage aspiration until we get a baby so that we can start making their own like room and stuff like that and then as i said we're gonna do our our wedding so we're starting our wedding in the next episode it's gonna be just so simple if we had like enough money i would probably do it here it's gonna be looking so fabulous or we can assume like she's gonna rent all the items and then we will see we will see what things and what thoughts i'm gonna have but this is gonna be it for today's episode and i will see you in the next one it's kind of you i just kind of feel to be honest like um kind of unprepared and my mind is just like oh my god, oh my god I love it's like screaming it's like why because i'm playing sims in bloom and i'm used only to play a one legacy per few time or what's what I want to say is that I play well legacy and then when I finish it, I just move to the other one. But the thing is that I am now playing three legacies. I'm playing Sims in Bloom and I'm playing this dynamic thing, leg legacy challenge. And I'm playing Whimsy Stories on my Instagram. I'm going to leave the link down below if you want to look at my story. I'm in generation one and I'm playing with a very hot sim as usual. But I just feel like kind of confused a little bit with names with stories i have like three different stories in my head and i just feel kind of confused but let me know if you feel the same way when you play so many series at the same time or challenges but i'm sure that first gen is always a mess like it's always a mess but then over the generations you just start telling when you start being confident that you are gonna go and complete this challenge blah 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 that it's really everything is getting better but let me know if you're enjoying this series I, as i said i'm still confused i'm still like not having a low motivation but i'm not trusting myself if this is a great i don't know how to say that if it's good to play three legacies at the same time but let me know what do you think and i will see you 
in the next episode. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And I love you so much. Bye.